the 2017 Hyundai Elantra. This is like my fifth car from Hyundai. I've just always had great service. They have a great warranty. They take care of me and I've just never been unsatisfied with my car. So they changed the body style and they changed the interior of the car and that's why I um, upgraded to the 2017. My previous car was the 2015 Elantra so here is the steering wheel volume um change the channel or song answer my phone hang up the phone call voice command uh, different driving modes this is for the cruise control obviously the horn on the door we have all four windows for the driver lock lock the windows for child lock and then the mirror controls on the dashboard we have your typical stuff um, and then on here it will show you like how much more you can drive till your gas is empty and you can change all these settings I just like these settings. That's how many miles on the car 151 miles That's the temperature outside is 96 in Texas Ew. and then the top is how fast I'm going and I'm going zero because I am parked cup holders um, I already have like my beats and my gum and my cord in there and then that's no fun. The glove box has like my manual and all that crap in there. So here's the Prindle. Oh, there's a glare. Obviously, the plus and minus because I have a manual option if I want to change the gears manually, but of course I don't do that. My boyfriend does it for fun, whatever. This is also to change the driving modes. There's three different modes. There's normal, sport, and eco. So sport's going to make the steering wheel more tight. Um, normal's just normal. And then eco is for when you're on the highway and doing long trips, you can, um, you can save gas. Here's kind of cool. It's just, um, the auxiliary cord, the USB, and I have two 12 volt plugs. And this is kind of like hydraulics, like closes on its own. So that's kind of fun. Your defrost, rear defrost, all the AC controls basically. So yeah, that's basic. Here's where the fun starts. Here is my touchscreen radio. I can actually do all the options from here and from voice command from the steering wheel. So this is super cool. So I have my phone Bluetooth right now. It shows my phone's battery life up here, which is super cool. The service and all that. Um, if I go here, these are just a bunch of apps I have that I can use on here. Pandora, phone, radio, music, all that good stuff. My menu, I really don't know what this is. I think that's just the stuff I've added to it. Um, again, another view of the apps. Whoops. Um, Sirius XM, SoundHound, I really don't know what that is, and then voice command, so that's that. Set up if I wanna change the settings. There's my phone and whatever. So if I click here, radio, that's all the radio options, and I can like preset those and all that stuff. Um, I love Sirius. XM radio, so this one's my fave. Serious hits one. I use, I listen to the morning one almost every morning. So, phone, it goes my phone, but this has Apple CarPlay. So, what I do, let me plug it in and then click the phone button. It literally pulls up my phone. Well, let's, that's my context. So here's my phone options. These are all the things I can use for my phone. So there's my Spotify, my TuneIn Radio, Pandora, my text messages, my music, my phone now playing, audiobooks if I want to listen to a book on the road, and my podcast. I don't really know what Hyundai is. I haven't looked at it. Uh, that just goes back to the home screen. So why are you doing that to me? Okay. So for my text, it can... Let's turn it up. To whom should I send your message? Trey Reyes. What do you want to say to Trey Reyes? Hey. You're saying, hey, ready to send it? Yes. Done. So I love that. And it will actually, so I have two text messages on here from 
two people and I can actually have Siri read them to me and I can respond to them which is super cool. Click the home button. Um, and then I can call people. Ooh. No. Who would you like to? I don't want to call. But here's like my favorites list. Um, recent people I've called who have called me. Contacts, I can type it and I can listen to my voicemails. Um, Maps is my favorite. It's navigation, but it's through my phone, so it's not like I'm having to pay for the service. So, I so this is just navigation. Um, I can go to recent destinations, but I don't want to show you that. Or I can search destinations. I can voice command where I want to go, and it will, you know, do that thing. So, yeah, that's that. This is like the most favorite feature of the car. This car is a lot roomier than my last car. It does not have a sunroof, which is disappointing. Um, I had to opt out of the sunroof option this time because now they come in packages where it's sunroof and leather seats together. You cannot get them separated and I am so against leather seats because I live in Texas. It is 100 degrees year round it feels like sometimes or when it is cold then your leather's cold. Not a good idea, especially since I'm a girl and I wear shorts, my legs will stick to the leather and rip off. So, I did up out of it. I didn't use it a lot. Um, I really did like this car. Again, I had some minor issues with my other one, so it was just, it was kind of nice to get this car for the same payment. I just happened to work out that way. Who knows? So, it's very roomy in the back. Fit the gang back there. Um, so, yeah. And yeah, I know this isn't like the most luxurious car. I know people are like doing like their Audis and their Range Rovers and their blah blah blah. But I'm a typical college student. I drive a typical college student car. Eventually, I would love to have a Jeep or a Range Rover. Who wouldn't want either of those? So, but this is just my everyday car. This is what fits me. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this car tour. Again, it was the 2017 Hyundai Elantra. I'm getting the windows tinted tomorrow morning, so I'll insert a clip so y'all can see what that looks like. Again, hope you enjoyed my car tour, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!